Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would recommend that you do so, so that you can be notified of any new tutorials that I post whenever I post. This In this tutorial, we are actually going to um, write the program to delete some data from a file. Um, this is uh, in a way continuation from the previous tutorial. In the previous uh, tutorial, we uh, tutorial number 43, uh, we learned uh, the algorithm to do do that uh, but in here right now we are going to code that algorithm so let's uh, get started so let's see <coughs> this picture is from the previous uh, time when, we were, when I was explaining uh, how to actually delete data from a file and this is a sample file that we are going to use the name of the file is abc.txt it has a whole bunch of names here and as you can see Joe the name Joe is being repeated from uh, in this uh, uh, in this file uh, from time to time and we want this name to be deleted uh, from this file so that's what our goal is to basically uh, after the after running that program we should have this file modified so that it has all the names except Joe in it okay so let's get started so first we said that we are going to use um, a buffer which will hold the entire file in here except the except the data that we have to delete it so that's all we have to do we'll, we are going to the algorithm in a sense what it is is it you read one line at a time and you say to if it do you want to delete it if no you put it in the buffer if you want to delete it just skip it and read the next line so you read the next line, you put it in the in the in the buffer. Read the next line, put it in the buffer. We learned that we have to use a pointer to actually keep moving the the location where we are going to be putting the next data or the next line in here. Okay, and we also need obviously we need a, a, a some variable line or a string line where we are going to be reading one line at a time so buffer will be holding the entire file contents the output file the pointer will be pointing to the next location in the buffer where the next line is going to go into and line itself will be the string that we'll be using to read uh, one line at a time from the file so very simple so let's get started so obviously we need a line here the line has to be as big as the biggest line that you expect in this file in this particular example we only expect you know the line to be no greater than 20 characters so we are going to make it 21 characters because we want one character to uh, to hold the end of a string um, character now <clears throat> we open the file we check to see if it is uh, if it is you know uh, if it is successful which means that the pointer is not null and then we read the entire file one line at a time and how do we read lines we learned that we can read lines using f get s right how what is the syntax you need to pass the variable where you want to read the line into which is this line variable itself and you specify the maximum number of characters that you want to read and then we specify the file pointer if you you know we we learned about this uh, function um, you know a few tutorials back if you haven't watched it please please do so okay now at this point we will have one line here and if I leave this program like this we what we are going to do here is that we are going to read keep reading the one line at a time until we hit the end of line so we now have a mechanism to read one line at a time until we hit the end of file okay but what we have to do we have to keep putting this line into a buffer so we need another variable buffer so how do we create create a variable buffer buffer variable will have will be an array of characters right so it will be just like uh, any other string right so buffer and you have to make it as big as you expect the size of the file would be in this particular case it's you know it's very small so let's make it a thousand characters long okay but now look at this there was a long time back we did a tutorial where we said that do not create very long variables inside the functions okay and main is a function we don't want this buffer to be 1000 bytes long inside this function okay so this will be created this way it will be created in the on the 
stack. We don't want it to be created on the stack. This, we don't want the stack to be too long. It can cause problems. Okay. So what do we do? We actually created a pointer. The pointer is very small, only four bytes normally. Okay. So very small, just pointer. It should be pointing, it will be pointing to a buffer in memory. Where is that buffer going to come, come from? So here, uh, if you go back to this, uh, let me use my pen here. Um, what we want is this buffer to be actually a pointer, not the array. And it should be pointing to this whole buffer. So we have already declared a buffer, which is just this square. Okay, Where is this whole buffer going to come from? We learned in that tutorial also that what do we have to do? We have to allocate this memory. How do we allocate the memory? We do this. We use malloc function. So one of the tutorials says, you know, in the in the title of the tutorial it says malloc. So if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please uh, watch that tutorial. Now malloc actually allocates memory for us in heap, and that could be huge. Okay, you can allocate, you know, thousands and thousands and megabytes of data as well. You know, as long as you know you don't overrun your memory itself. But you can have big, huge amount of data here. So how many bytes do we need? We said we need 1,000 bytes. Okay, and actually we said we need 1,000 characters. So what is the number of bytes? It will be 1,000 multiplied by size of car. Now size of it looks like a function. It's actually an operator, but think of it as a function also. It doesn't harm you. It basically what it does is it you can pass the type, and it will return you what is the size of that type. A character usually represents, we know that it only needs one byte, but it's always a good idea to use size of character or size of whatever the type of this buffer is, buffer pointer is, okay, which is character. And then multiply it by 1000, which will make it 1000 bytes. And then you store it here. And then you, you have to cast. Well, in C, you don't have to cast. Okay, this should just work without this cast. It will work just fine. But in, in C++, since we are using C++ compiler, you have to cast. So we, I'm going to ca cast it here. And this is how you cast. Cast, what malloc does is actually malloc returns a white pointer. It may, in other words, it returns a pointer to nothing. Okay, no, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have any type. That pointer does not have any type to which it's pointing to. So you have to explicitly say that, okay, I want to convert this into a character pointer type because our buffer is actually a character pointer because you are assigning it to buffer. So what it, what malloc is going to give you is an address of this of this location that it has allocated. So it will allocate all this data or all this uh, memory here, this whole entire buffer, and then it will return the address of the first byte. And we are going to store it into this buffer pointer here. Okay. So we are going to say buffer is equal to this thing here. Now one more thing. We want this buffer to be initialized to all zeros. Okay. One way would be to run a loop and initialize each character to zero. But there is a faster way of doing it. There is a function called memset and you pass the start address of that memory, the number of bytes in that memory, which we know is is the same as what we allocated. Sorry, actually, you specify the value that you want to store in each of the elements, and then you specify the total number of bytes here. Okay, so buffer, which is the start address of the location, the value that you want to store which is zero in each element in every byte which is zero and then the number of bytes which is the same as the one that we use in at the time of allocation so at this point after running this function sorry after executing this function what is it going to do it's going to zero out it's going to write zeros to each of these locations zero 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 so that is very important whenever you allocate a buffer you zero it out. This is very important. Okay. The other thing we said is we are going to use a pointer, PTR. Okay. Again, if you did not watch the tutorial where I am explaining all these things, you please do that. So we need this pointer, which is also a character pointer, just like this buffer. The only difference is that it will keep on moving. We are going to keep on moving this pointer to the next location which is available 
to write the next line okay so it will be just the pointer and we will initialize it what are we going to initialize it to we are going to initialize it to to the start address of this buffer because obviously the first we said that pointer PTR is going to point to where the next line is going to go to. In the beginning, the next line, that the first line that we read is going to go to the beginning of this buffer. So we have to st we have to initialize it with the whatever the address is in this buffer pointer. Okay. So at this point, sorry, I have to stop here. Uh, keep watching. Thank you. Sir.